Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to get into gizmos and how to do the activity for today. So to get into it, you're going to click on this Explore Learning Gizmos Math and Science Simulations. You are going to click on Login Enroll. And the quick way to get into the class is with the student class code, which you can find back in here. Let me make it so you can see my tabs. <laughs> There's always a ton of them open. Okay, so your class code is right here. Um, well, that's not, if you're in first hour, that's your code, but your actual code for your class is in your classwork folder in the same spot. So I'm going to say copy, um, command C is copy. Um, let's see, let's get in here. Oops, not that one. Okay, so I'm going to put the class code in here. Command V is paste. So command C is copy, command V is paste. Let's say enroll in class. Okay, so... Uh, it's offering for me to enroll in this class, which is already set up, Physics First Hour. Um, so you're going to create, you're going to say, I need to create an Explore Learning account, register now to enroll. You're going to fill out this stuff real quick. Now, this is really important, really, really important. You need to save your username and password. Um, I'm... I'm not sure that it'll auto-save auto for you. If your computer has that option, go ahead and do that. But Whatever you put in here and your password, you're going to want to record that in the doc that we're using today. So uh, once you get to that point, open up this thing, Gizmos Trebuchet. This is the like worksheet for today. And you have a copy just for you. So you need to put your username and um, your password in there. In fact, you know what? I'm going to change that on the, on the thing so it says username and password. And... I'm not going to copy this. I'm not going to give it to anybody. I mean, you should use a secure password, but you know, like this is just so that you have this so you can use it in the future. Okay. All right. So you have entered your username and password. I'm going to go back because I already have one. All right. So I'm going to log in. Okay, and you're probably just going to have it say one physics hour. So here we are. This is the demonstration and activity that we're doing today, trebuchet. So um, you can click on it, and then you can say launch gizmo. Okay, so this is our, like, thing that we're playing with today. Let me show you a couple things about it. So a trebuchet is a thing that can fling stuff. It's basically like uh, a catapult or, like, a slingshot, kind of like a combination of the two. Um, and if you want to know what each one of these red dots is, these red dots are things that you can play with and manipulate, go up to tools and drag this help thing out here and it'll tell you what each thing is. So like this is the prong angle and this is the payload and this is the length of the sling. This is the long arm. And you can see that, um, that you can adjust the distance or the weight of each one of those factors here on the side. So, so the first thing you're going to do after you've logged into Gizmos is you are going to work on, um, hopefully you've already answered the prior knowledge questions. Um, so you're going to just go through this worksheet. This first part will show you how to do stuff. This is really like what I just showed you. You want to make sure you can find the counterweight, payload, fulcrum, short arm, long arm, sling, and prong. So you know which ones those are. And remember, you can use that help. I'll show that again. You go down to tools, you grab this help thing, and then drag it over each one of these dots, and it tells you what it does. Height of fulcrum, length of short arm, and then you can adjust all those things here. So let me take you through, like, the first couple questions in here. All right. Oops. All right, so there's your prior, prior knowledge questions. Gizmo warm-up, finding all those different pieces. Okay, now we're going to say launch test. So launch test is right here. Pew! And it tells you a couple things about how this went. It tells you the launch angle, um, and it tells you the initial speed. So I am thinking that the launch angle is like how far from straight up and down this is. That looks like about five degrees there. Um, so let's go back here. So launch test. Okay, so now we're going to test a couple different things and look at a couple different 
um, like how things are changed when we alter parts of this trebuchet. Um, so first question is, which trebuchet dimensions do you think are going to have the biggest effect on the launch angle? So you're going to pick one of those. If you want to highlight, you can do that by selecting something. And this is your highlight color right there. You can pick anything. Um, or you can underline, or you can change the text color, whatever is going to work best for you. This is the text color if you want to change that. Um, so then you're going to try different different things. So we're looking at the sling length. We're going to change um, the sling length, 5 meters, 6 meters, 7 meters, 8 meters, and 9 meters. Let's try that. So this is the, so we're changing, what are we changing? <laughs> Let's go back and look. Sling length. Okay. So sling, so we're going to need to reset before we do anything. This reset button, you have to click it like before, between every round, anytime you are changing a factor on it, you click that reset button. So I happen to know that sling length, let's do this again. Tools, help, drag it over. Okay, change length of sling. So I'm gonna increase this. I can either do it with my mouse like this, or I can just come over here and say I want it to be seven meters. Okay, so then we're gonna say launch test. Pshew! And the launch angle was 31.16. Initial speed was 37.86 meters per second. So um, we'll come in here. Um, and you don't need to worry about units here, although usually you would, but I don't want to have to have you worry about the special characters to get the degrees and things like that. So, so let's see. So we just tested 7 meters. Let's look at what it did. So the launch angle was 31.16. Six. Initial speed was 37.86 meters per second. Okay, so that'll be fine for that, and you're going to fill in each one of these boxes. So then it's going to ask you to analyze what was happening here. Um, I added, like, sentence starters for you. When the sling length gets longer, the launch angle gets whatever. Initial speed gets whatever. So then you're going to test a couple other factors. The prong angle, which is... Here, let's hit reset. Prong angle is this thing right here, and it's magnified right there. So you can say prong angle. Oh, I was doing the wrong thing. Oh, this is how you adjust prong angle. Okay, that's changing it. So zero is flat up to, you know, 43 degrees, or no, you can do it up to like 80 degrees, looks like. Okay. So you're going to test that out. Then you're going to analyze what changed there, compare, you're going to test with the short arm length, and you're going to compare two different trebuchets with slightly different amounts of counterweight. Counterweight is this big bulky thing there. Payload is um, this ball right there that's actually getting thrown. Um, yeah. So then there's a couple questions there. Now, if you do not get through this whole thing today, like definitely don't worry about activity B. I think I might just erase activity B. Um, I might keep it just so you can look at it, but don't worry about finishing it. Basically just get the stuff that is highlighted in yellow. And if you don't get through everything, that's okay. Like I just want to have you get in there, get your login, you know, kind of see how the system works. But I'm not worried about you completing this assignment today. This is just to give you a taste of how Gizmos works. All right? So, oh my gosh, it's a long video. I will let you do it. Okay, bye.